you and Greg Caden, right? What's the issue between both of y'all? Because I heard that you feel a type of way that he offered, you know, Keefe D a deal. Well, I don't really want to bash Caden, but it kind of irritates me over the air because, uh, in my opinion, based on the hundreds of cases that I work, gang related cases, why would you offer Keefe D a proper immunity deal? I mean, there's no reason really for you probably would have to do that as a last effort. Okay. And the biggest thing that he did that was a no, no. And sometimes you got to own it. I'm sure, uh, Greg, you know, I don't know if he admitted or not, but whenever, where did this case happen? Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Las Vegas. Well, it's their murder, man. So he offers Keefe D an immunity deal and he doesn't notify Las Vegas. So that to me, if that was my case, just think, okay, what he did is he offered him immunity deal and he was gonna take different avenues of approach, I guess, I don't know, you can ask him all that, but I still, in my book, you cannot justify giving this guy immunity. Las Vegas PD has to get involved, it's their homicide, right? So what he did is offer him immunity, took his statement, and then they called Las Vegas PD. So I'm the, I'm the detective. I'm a homicide detective, and I'm in Las Vegas. And I get a call from Kading or whoever, right? And they say, hey, man, uh, I'm on an FBI task force. We arrested uh, Keefe D, and we gave him immunity, and you guys can come down and talk to him. But anything he says, you can't use against him in court. I would go ape shit if that was my case. You did what? You offered, is this your murder? I mean, I would, I would just go crazy. And you, you can ask any other seasoned homicide detective, he could tell you the same thing. He just, it just was the stupidest thing I've ever seen done, really. And he did do a good job. Kading is, he's a squared away guy, he speaks very well. I don't know the guy, but you know, I don't see how, how he can really justify this, man. There's no way. So since he gave Kiefer D a deal, they can't use his information? No, I mean, they didn't call him to testify at, at the grand jury, right? They called me, they called us because, you know, we gave him, we worked with Las Vegas PD. We tried to help him out. I've still helped him out 27 years later, but I'm sure they're pissed off at Greg Kading for doing what he did. He only had one other guy in the car, and that was Bubble Up that was alive at the time. He died in 2015. This, this interview we, or took place in 2008, 2009, somewhere when he was on the Biggie Smalls Task Force. And why I say there's other avenues that you could have t taken. You, you, you used the proffer immunity grills, uh, agreement as a last, the last resort. And you say, hey, Vegas... This is what we're doing. He did a good, Greg Kading did a great job arresting um, Keefe D. They had him over a barrel, you know what I'm saying? He did, in that respect, He did, they did a great job. At that, at that time, you called Vegas PD. Hey, look, man, this guy's ready to talk. You need to come down here, and we need to go over what, what we're going to do to go forward in your case. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You don't just go and do what they did. I'm sorry. I, I I don't care what excuse he comes up with. He can he can say anything he wants. But in my book, being the homicide investigator that I was and the expert that I am, that there's no way that they can justify not contacting Las Vegas PD. And they basically went behind their back. How do you feel about him saying that he saw Tupac case? Because you was telling me earlier that you and Tim, y'all was the first ones to give information to the Vegas PD. I'm, I'm not going to sit here. I'm not in it for glory, man. I, we didn't solve Tupac's case. I don't believe Greg Kading solved Tupac's case. You know who solved Tupac's case? Las Vegas homicide in the DA's, DA's office. You know, I talked to both. They came down and talked to me. I worked with the DA's office. Them guys are squared away, sharp guys. Um, but we provided Las Vegas 27 years ago with all the information all the people involved, we gave him a motive, and we helped him. Hey, it's your, it's your murder. You do what you want. If I'm here. If anything we could do for you, I'm here to help. 27 years later, they call me up. Say, man, we need a gang expert. You need to put all this together for us. 
tell us who's who in the zoo. You know, what's the motive you guys found out? So I went to the grand jury and told them all that. And then they solved the murder. Not not me and not Greg Katie. They solved the murder. 